Hey, <laughs> come inside guys. You don't have to be ringing up the doorbell that much, but thank you guys for coming in to my casa today. Well, we're actually gonna be walking you guys through the entire process of designing a clothing line from scratch. This is a question that I've been getting a lot, so I figured, hey, why not bring you guys through behind the scenes and actually design a line from scratch, right? From the very beginning, from logos to the designing to the brand direction. And I thought, what better way to actually display this information and give this, these, uh, these resources and these tips to you guys than collaborating with a creative artist who is a part of this YouTube community. So in this video, what we did is we actually collaborated with Mendo, who actually owns a design agency, and he builds out a lot of different clothing lines. Met the dude last year or two years ago at Magic, and I said, dude, let's collaborate on something. And this guy really came through with some amazing and powerful information that you'll be able to use to actually design your brand from scratch. All right, so the very first thing that we had to do in order to pull this off is we obviously had to come up with the design direction, right? So the very first thing that we did is we went directly to you. So what I did is I actually surveyed it out to the communities tab. And in the community tab, we had close to 150 of you guys actually vote for the design direction. And with that information, we actually sent it out to Mark in order to take full reins on a design process. But as we were actually designing the brand and coming up with this entire video concept, we realized that we could go a little bit further by making this a two-part series. With this video focused on the designing and the sourcing and the initial steps that it takes to actually design and actually launch your brand, and the second video focusing on the printing and the options that you have to actually making and launching your products. All right, you guys, so this is a two-part series and we're super excited to bring this to you guys. So if you're a new visitor to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and that notification bell to be alerted of the latest videos that will be dropping on this channel to continue helping you build your brand and business from the ground up. Welcome to Salt Lake City. I'm Mark Mendoza, AKA Mendo. First of all, I want to thank John for giving me the opportunity for letting me be in this video. So for those of you wondering who I am, in short, I'm a designer. So over the years, I've had the opportunity to work in the apparel industry, specifically in the sportswear niche, where I've had the opportunity to work on things such as product design, apparel, learn tech packs, as well as things like sublimation, screen printing. And I even had the opportunity to design my own sneaker. I've also gotten the chance to work with different entrepreneurs and other creatives, helping them build their own brand. And today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about the creative process. I'm gonna show you how I take an idea and turn it into a final product, which in this case would be a logo and a couple of designs for some apparel. And my process is actually the same for everything that I do, no matter if it's creating a logo, creating graphics, a website, whether it's designing uh, I mean, cut and sew apparel or sneakers or whatever it is that I'm designing, I take the same approach for all my projects. So my design process consists of four stages. Number one, being my understanding phase. Number two is what I like to call my research phase. Number three is when I actually go in and start exploring, designing, and number four is refining. So let me take you along with me as I take an idea and we start a brand and how you can apply it for yourself as well. So this is actually gonna be the foundation of my brand. So this is where I'm going to get my idea for my logo, for all my graphics, even for the name if I didn't have a name. So what I want to do is I want to start writing any words or any phrases that I want people to associate with my brand. Once I have that taken care of, I start writing things that are going to make my brand different and what kind of things and aspects I really want to focus on. After that, I start naming my competition, writing down some of the people that are going to be in the same niche as me. 
So the next thing that I do is start writing information about my audience. Start uh, writing down the demographic, which is where they live, male or female, anything like that. Then the psychographic, which is going to be more like their mentality, um, what habits they have, and whatnot. And then from there, since I understand that I am building a brand, I'm going to write down what specifically my audience wants and needs and how I could kind of help them with that. And then I also write down what they're familiar with so that way I can see what ecosystem they are going to be in. And then once I have that, I take the information from both what I want and what my audience wants and kind of see what things they have in common and I start writing uh, what words would be able to describe the brand and between what I want and what they want and then my challenge next is finding out how I can communicate this. So as we were building this line, we had to decide which t-shirt blank we wanted to go with. And we chose Bella Canvas, and we actually chose their fast fashion collection, as well as some of the fleece items that they have available. And, uh, and the reason that we chose them, guys, is they have a very consistent print when it comes to whether you decide to do DTG, which is direct-to-garment printing, or whether you decide to do screen printing, you know how the end product will look. Very great quality feel, and obviously the, the cuts and silhouettes will really accent what Mark created and is creating when it comes to the designing of the line. So now that we have our t-shirt blanks, we're one step closer to actually launching this brand. So now I'm actually gonna jump onto my computer and start the research process of this project. And I'm gonna start off by researching my competition. I'm gonna take a look at some of my competitors, um, what it is that they're doing, and I'm gonna write down every little thing that I notice about them. So everything from like what kind of photography they're using, what kind of pictures, um, what kind of colors, what kind of, what kind of words, what their videos look like, what their website looks like. Um, so every little thing that I notice about them, I'm going to write down. And then I'm gonna also repeat the exact same thing with the brands that they are familiar with as well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually jump onto Pinterest and start saving some images, some photos, anything that really depicts a mood or really encompasses the ideas that I had when I was uh, writing down the words that I wanted to describe my brand and the words that uh, my audience would also want my brand to be associated with. So in the next part of my research phase, I'm actually gonna take a look at color. And so I'm gonna jump onto Adobe Color and start taking those same exact words that I was using on my list and start seeing what colors are associated with them. And then I'm actually gonna create a new, a new file on Illustrator and start saving some of these uh, colors and kind of title them what they are associated with. Once I have all my colors picked out, I kind of start um, using different combinations. I actually start checking out the balance uh, with certain colors because not every color should be um, divided equally. Some should have more presence than the other. And so I play around with that to kind of get an idea. And then once I have that done, I actually jump back onto Pinterest and I start taking those pictures that I saved and putting them all together in one place that I can reference back to. And this is actually what I call the mood board. So my mood board is really gonna depict uh, in, in a visual way with everything from colors to fonts to imagery of those exact same words that I used in the beginning. So now I'm actually gonna get to the, the creation part of my process. So now that I have my mood board, I'm actually gonna continue to reference it 
and those same exact words that I had, I'm going to try and depict them in a visual way and in, in more of an iconic way through the logo. So I start sketching different ideas. I don't really have a, a limit to how many sketches I do. I always just sketch. Sometimes I even come up with ideas that shouldn't belong, but I will take them out later. Once I have my sketches done, that's gonna be my foundation for what I'm gonna create when I go on Illustrator. So I actually take my sketches and I start creating them uh, in a vector format by using Adobe Illustrator. And I will continue to do this with all my different ideas. Once I have my idea set up, I pick the best one and I actually start refining it. So I refine that specific design. I start messing with it until I get a design that I am happy with. Once I have that design, I start um, retouching it a little bit, making it a little bit more compositionally strong. And then I start making variations at that same logo. And then once I have those variations done, I actually jump on to the design part of the t-shirt, the apparel, which is taking the idea from the logo and it's also taking ideas from my mood board and, and everything that I've saved and coming up with different designs that would be able to visually communicate that. Once I have my designs done, I will start putting them on mock-ups. So some templates kind of sizing them up, playing with them. I start changing the colors based on the color of the shirts. I also start or using different things like um, positioning things in different areas, different sizes, just playing around with it. So my goal here is actually to have something that looks cohesive. So I know that I'm trying to communicate an idea, but in that communication part, I also want everything to look like it goes together. I want my line to be a whole collection. So that is one thing that I really focus on. And then I do that by using very similar graphics. I do that by using a similar color. So there's many ways to kind of do this I really want to do is make sure everything looks cohesive so now that I have my graphics mocked up on my apparel the next thing that I gotta do is actually have the files ready for print and once I have my files ready to print sent them out get them printed and I can start marketing my brand with the survey results in guys we are now ready to begin sampling the designs of our products so it's going to be super important that you guys actually go out and you survey your designs that you're thinking about sampling because that's going to kind of give you a nice gauge as to what people may want to buy. And what's going to be even more important is to sample those designs in order for you guys to actually show a physical product and be able to do some marketing before you go out and actually buy in bulk. All right, the last thing you guys want to do is buy in bulk a bunch of designs that you thought people would like and then they don't buy them and then you go out of business that's really how this industry works a lot of people go with their gut feeling but they don't realize that gut feelings don't pay the bills all right so you got to make sure that you're strategic about it and what i want to do is i want to take you guys into a print shop where we're going to go into covering a lot more of this process as well as a lot more of the printing process for you guys to really know and get information of things that you really need to consider so as we said this is a two-part video series where we're actually going to go and in the second video which is starting right now we're actually going to go and take you guys to the print shop and show you everything that you need to know to launch your brand if you guys are a new visitor to this channel i highly encourage that you hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications to be alerted of the latest drop in the second video we're going to dive into so many amazing details that i know you guys will enjoy but if you have any further questions or perhaps something wasn't very clear make sure you check the video notes right below the video in order to get additional resources and information that we may have missed in this video huge shout outs to bella canvas for be for being a sponsor of this channel and of this video and helping us get this information out and if you guys need additional training or any additional resources or tips make sure you download the video guides and pdfs that we have available on the online academy which are available to you guys for free
So see you guys on the next video.